Hi, Cancer. What's up? What's good, my Cancer? What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, you guys, for all my returning subscribers. I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all so much. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. For all the newbies out there, okay? If you've never been here before, my name is Queen of Wands. Uh, 11, 11. This is Queen of Wands. Back to do y'all mid-March 2024 love reading. Let's get into this general messages and see what the universe wants you guys to know. Take it how it resonates with you. Leave what does not. Don't force a message. If it's not for you, don't force it. Don't make it fit if it doesn't stick to your story. All right, okay? I keep seeing this businessman here. So for some of y'all, you could be a businessman or you are um, talking to a businessman. You could be working with a businessman. You could be getting ready to start your own business. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. My kids is playing that damn Stumble Guys game. If they get too loud, I will um, tone it down. Okay, because no, we're not. We're not doing that today. We're not doing that today. All right. Somebody's confused or this person causes confusion when it comes to you. I feel like you could be confused or somebody is. It says, what did I do wrong? I don't know what I did or how to fix it. Wow. Somebody's trying to look you up on social media. Could be Instagram. Okay. Maybe somebody was trying to make you jealous. Something you didn't notice. I feel like you could be reading through somebody's comments here. You're letting go, Cancer. Okay. You're like, uh-uh. It's over. No more drama. No more stress. Time to live again. Yeah, there was a third party here. Okay, somebody was creating a wedge between the two of you. I feel like this third party was interfering. Someone was uh, trying to stop someone from moving forward here. Cancer, let's see what other messages the universe wants you guys to know. You may have dealt with this person around the summer months or you went on a double date or on a trip with this person in the summertime or you dealt with them all year long. It could be this summer that you're dealing with this person, but this person is trying to figure some things out when it comes to y'all connection. It says, I know I was wrong and I will fix it and make it right with you, but I feel like right now you're just needing to recharge from this energy. You're emotionally or physically drained, checked out, exhausted. This is an energy vampire in your um, energy who is draining your energy, siphoning your energy. Take this high resonate, reverse the roles as you see fit, and I feel like you rejected this person. Yeah. All right, this person may have rejected you, but I feel like y'all in a separation split, took some time apart, or y'all just took a break from each other. This person is getting karma, y'all. Somebody's out here screaming, why me? This person kept putting you through a karmic cycle over and over and over again, repeating the same thing over and over. Justice will be served in your favor. There's good karma and bad karma here. You're just frustrated with this bull crap. You tired of this person's crap? You're stressed out, overloaded, and burnt out. You may have dealt with this person in the springtime or this spring. You could be partying, getting out, going to concerts, enjoying your life, gatherings, traveling. Somebody sees you as marriage material, husband, wife material. They hate nothing about you. Okay. But I just feel like this person put you in some sort of friends with benefits relationship here. And you're throwing yourself into your work. You could be doing this to get your mind off of this person. Or this person is doing this to get their mind off of you. Somebody's working too hard. Working too much. Stretching themselves thin. Not getting no sleep here. Okay. Somebody could be trying to come out of debt. Or get a new home. Or a new car. Or just be financially stable. Hmm. There's some sticky notes here. So I see a sticky note that says chill. So spirit is wanting you to chill. You know, because you're working a lot, y'all. Y'all could be getting a headache from working so much. Y'all need to get some sleep. Or this could be this person. Take it how it resonates, y'all. Let's see. Yeah. You could be traveling. Or somebody wants to take you on a bay vacation. On a romantic trip, just the two of y'all. This person may see you as a runner. Or they could be a runner. It says, when I catch feelings i run or fall back i don't know what to expect i'm working on my issues i feel like you ghosted somebody here cancer reverse the roles without notice no call no text no show somebody just disappeared and i feel like now this person is yearning for you they're missing you they're thinking about the good times they never had someone like you cancer okay they're thinking about you while they laying down in the bed 
they smiling while they looking at your picture. If this person does have a picture of you, yeah, they're going to reach out to you with a text message. You are on this person's mind. They miss you. They can't get enough of you. All right. They want to sit down and have some sort of conversation with you. They want to come to some sort of understanding with you. They feel like you're an understanding person. They feel like you will understand them. Okay. Or they just want to compromise here. But I feel like this person will be happy to hear from you if you text this person back. Or you may be happy to hear from them because they're going to reach out to you. They always think about you. All right. That's the energy. So let's move these cards up because I need to get another spread out here. All right, Cancer. I missed y'all. I've been having a lot of doctor's appointments, ripping and running. I couldn't do y'all read. But I was thinking, I was like, I should take my cards outside when I go to these appointments and still do they damn read. <laughs> oh, gosh. So I just got this deck not too many days ago. Um, and I love it. I've been using this deck and I can't wait to see what messages Spirit has for you in this deck. All right. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Turn your post notifications on to A-L-L. -L. Share the video, y'all. I love how y'all watch and comment. I love y'all comments. I love you guys' feedback. It's so interesting to read y'all stories and what y'all went through and what y'all going through and how you're growing and you're flowing and you're glowing. That's Perfect. I love it. Messages for cancer. I have a dirty secret. Oh. Somebody been hiding something from you. Oh, they thought you was easy. They thought they could just get what they want from you. First night, they thought they could just hop in the bed with you. Or that you wouldn't pay nothing no mind. They could get over and swindle you. Yeah. They want a higher level of commitment now. They realize you're not easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy. Okay, it was love at first sight. It was love at first sight for this person. But you hope they're happy. Or they hope that if you are with someone that you're happy. Alright. But I feel like they really want you back, Cancer. They really want you back. Okay. They didn't mean to fall in love with you. They wasn't looking for it. They feel like you shouldn't have trusted them. The nerve of this person. This is what came out. Because this person was wearing a mask. Putting on a facade. They weren't who they say they was. And they're blaming you for trusting them. Like what? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They feel like y'all got great chemistry. They love the chemistry that you have together. Or that y'all had together. Okay. They love that. It says if the world was ending you come over. So they just feel like they know you would be there by their side if the world was ending. They miss you. Cancer. This person is missing the hell out of you, okay? The distance apart is killing this person. For some of y'all, they could have took a flight or they could be flying in town. This person may wear a suit and tie. They still think about you. You are always on this person's mind. They think about you like crazy. If they had a third party, they're leaving the third party. They're leaving this third party. They want to tell you that, like, I'm leaving them. I want you. I don't want them. Mm-hmm. I just want to see you, it says. They want to be next to you. I want to get next to you. I held back from this connection. They sure did. They're ready to try again. They want a second chance with y'all. I feel like they're toxic traits. 
block this connection from flourishing, from evolving to the next level. This person is obsessed with you, Cancer. They're trying to look you up, trying to research and see if they can find you. They're looking at their phone to see if you hit them up. They want to hit you up. They could be blowing up your phone. It says, I know I messed up. I know I messed this up. They know they did. This person could be standing outside of your house or your building. Looking up at the window. Calling you by name like cancer. Please. Please no. But you like, I have other options. You had options. You treated me as an option. I'm going to show you how many I got. Okay, I hear that hot shit, Cancer. You meant everything to this person or they meant everything to you, Cancer. Some of y'all may like this color. Some of y'all may have burgundy curly hair. Blonde hair. I'm coming home. Do you think about another man? Do you think about another man? Because I'm coming home again. Okay, that graduation album was the shit. <laughs> coming home again. Do you think about another man? Yeah, do you think about another man? Oh, oh. Because I'm coming home again. Maybe we could start again. Hey! <laughs> This person love Kanye West. They listen to Kanye West all the time. Well, that's you. That could be one of your favorite songs. The Graduation album could be one of your favorite albums by Kanye West. Let's get some more messages for you guys and see what's going on here. What messages Spirit wants you guys to know? Child services. This may not be you, but somebody is at risk of their kids being taken or is about to. Or somebody's reporting some sort of neglect or abuse. Or maybe you saw somebody's kid being neglected, ab neglected, abused. And you could be calling just out of concern. This could be a neighbor. This could be a friend. This person feels like you're holding a grudge against them. Or well, they're a grudge holder. Okay, some of y'all could be doing some sort of core cutting or some sort of ritual here. This person wants you back. I'm telling y'all, they want you back. Bad, bad. You got it, you got it bad. When you miss a day, went out your friend, your whole life's off track. No, you got it bad. When you're stuck in the house, you don't want to have fun. That's all you think about. You got it bad when you're out with someone and you keep on thinking about somebody else. You got it bad. They're crying over you. They're sad. They're upset. They're hurt, etc. But you like, I'm moving on. Thank you. Next. Next. Yeah, because this person had you in some sort of third party love triangle type of situation. And they could have been talking shit about you to this third party. Or you was talking shit about them because they had you in a third party situation here. Mm. This person could be moving on from the third party and talking shit about the third party. Take it how I resonate because we did say this person is leaving them. You dodging bullets out here, Cancer. You blocking negativity. Escaping crazy people protected by haters. You like, yeah, I just want high vibrational energy in my life right now and peace. I told you somebody's looking you up, researching you, studying you, trying to get info on you, but you rejected them. All right. Some of y'all, they got a fake account if you block them. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, they spying on your Twitter. They fishing for comments. This card almost fell out my hand. They fishing for comments in the comment section. Trying to see who's saying what about you. They trying to get more information. Cancer. Somebody was using scarcity tactics against you. 
Like, I'll do this and that if you don't take me back. You know, if you don't do what I tell you to do, I'll do this and that. Yeah, they want to make you some sort of an offer. Some of y'all drinking y'all cappuccino, frappuccino, French vanilla. Y'all is cool in the fan. An offer could also be coming from a boss daddy. Could be an Aries, a CEO, somebody who's stable, rich, a business owner, big dick energy. All right. Yeah. I feel like the person that had you in a third party situation is in their head about you, Cancer. They're overthinking, they're stressed out, overanalyzing everything because they may take it to this type of level where they're going to force their way back into your life or try to force things on you or use this force to get what they want. They could be like, oh, the Bible says this, the Bible says that, the Bible say, the Bible say, the Bible, 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 Bible say. They could be using the Bible against you because of your belief in the Bible. So they're using that against you. This is a divination abuser. Give me one more for cancer. So the overall energy is confused. You may have been getting into fights with this person or with other females in the past over this person. You may have been getting into arguments with this person or arguments with other people. This person was uh, putting you in competition or they are competing with you. They're a drama starter. They are a drama starter. They got groupies in their circle, fake karmic friends. It's like they felt like, look at this. It's like they felt unstoppable, untouchable. They felt like they was out here too busy winning. But I feel like when they was with you, they was winning. But they was in their ego, had groupies around them, you know, karmic friends that talk about them. They know they can't trust these people. And they felt like they was out here winning. They felt like it was their winning season. <laughs> These people are secretly comp uh, competing with your person. They don't even know that. But they feel like they too busy out here winning to be dealing with you. Well, they're about to have a rude awakening. Let's get some tarot for you guys. Cancer. Cancer. What messages does the universe have for you what is your guides want you to know cancer cancer sun moon rising venus north node cancer messages for cancer spirit guides angels ancestors universal energies what do you want cancers to know at this time what's this two cards wanted to pop out i'm telling y'all <laughs> This person broke your heart, put you in some sort of competition. Um, they're jealous and envious or the third party is jealous and envious of you. I feel like your person in this third party was arguing and fighting over you or you and your person was arguing and fighting over some sort of heartbreak. Third party situation, love triangle here. There's too much drama, too much pain, too much heartbreak. Yes, this is a soulmate connection. I feel like you could be connected to a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person wants a second chance with you. But right now, they're under heavy judgment. And that's why they're blowing up your phone, wanting to talk to you, sending you long paragraphs of messages. Y'all could be smoking while y'all watching this. Oh, what card was that? It flew out of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, because the tables is turning. There's a shift happening here in this person's energy. Also in your energy. You're, lear you're learning karmic lessons here. This person may be telling you that they learned their lesson. I feel like there's some unexpected turn of events happening for somebody here. Okay. Yeah, but the tables is turning. Yeah, they all talk and no action. They're all talk and no action. But I feel like this person is stalking the hell out of you. What's this person's true intentions? 
they want to marry you, make you their wife, or they see your worth and value here. They want a relationship with you. They want to get you pregnant. That's their intention. They want to get you pregnant. Some of y'all are supposed to have been walked away from this person. Or they thought they could walk away from you. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. Only to realize that they're coming right back to you. They're being led right back to you. Expect the unexpected, y'all. Because they're being led right back to you. Six of swords in the reverse. They're coming back here. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. I had got a phone call. But they're coming back. They realize they're stuck on you. Okay, this may have been a failed long-distance relationship. But I feel like if y'all traveling somewhere, y'all could be returning home back from y'all travels. This person is coming back. Six of Swords in the reverse. I'm seeing uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be another Cancer. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And um, Leo, Aries, Sag. With the Three of Wands in the reverse. Yep, they're rushing back towards you with the Knight of Swords. This person is an emotional wreck. All right, they're coming in quick. What's this? Yep, the moon. They're in the blues about you. They're in their feelings about you, but you are unclear about where you stand with this person. This person hid things from you, kept you in the dark about things here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's repressing their emotions. This could be you because the Ace of Cups is here. So you're repressing your emotions. The, uh, the relationship was one-sided. You're pouring that love into yourself. Self-love. Yeah, there was a lot of ups and downs between you and this person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Death in reverse. They don't want this to be over. Because they had some shocking awakening. Some sort of an epiphany. Some sort of aha moment about you with the tower. Could be a double Scorpio here. Six of Cups in the reverse. You don't have good memories when it comes to this person. But they want to offer you a high level of commitment with the higher font. This could be speaking of an organization, a group, a job, an institution for some of you. Yeah. They want to make you happy. They want to spoil you. But I feel like you left them out in the cold. You're happy in your single energy. You feeling blessed and grateful here. Yeah, you're happy. I feel like this person is facing bad luck. They feel like the world is against them. They feel like um all these people abandoned and neglected them when they went broke. They could be self-pleasuring themselves, or this is you self-pleasuring yourself. This person feels alone, out in the cold. Hmm. They may not have no money right now, no car, no home for some of you. Hmm. Yep, you're recovering from some sort of betrayal. They're codependent on you. So I feel like they still want you. But they want to know if you're single. Some of y'all are not single. Some of y'all in a new relationship. Or. It could be this person who's not single. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like they're breaking their silence. Yeah, you took your power back. The devil in reverse. Could be a Capricorn. I feel like they're getting out of their own toxic way. They don't want to be like. Addicted to sex, alcohol, drugs, gambling. Um, I feel like they're going through some sort of. I want to say dark night of the soul, but that's not what it is. Um, they're just getting out of their own way. But you may feel like this person is still manipulative, a cheater, a liar. They're breaking their silence. They may tell you, I don't deal with these hoes no more. I don't drink no more. I don't do the things I used to do no more. Yeah, they want a relationship with you with the four of wands. 
Y'all may have talked about getting engaged, getting married, moving in together, or y'all was already engaged, married, or moved in together. They feel like you're their twin, but I feel like if this person's trying to offer you love, you're not paying no mind to it. You're rejecting it. You may not be answering their text messages or phone calls here because they made you unhappy, dissatisfied in this uh, relationship, this twin flame connection. You broke free from somebody that you thought was a twin. This could be a missed opportunity, but I do see this person wanting to come back. But you're just like, mm -mm, I'm not feeling you. I'm not feeling you. I'm not feeling it. Yeah, you're not paying them no mind. They're trying to offer you this cup of love with the four of cups, but you're not opening up. You're holding back and you are really not even paying attention. Not answering their phone calls, like I said, text messages, whatever. But some of you, it's this person. They may be the type to get bored very easily in, in relationships. You may have offered them love and they was rejecting you. Making you feel unhappy, dissatisfied. They feel like they may have missed an opportunity with y'all. All right. Let's get a few more messages and then we're going to close this reading out. Cancer. Your guardian is watching you. So it could be a lost loved one who watches over you like a grandmother, grandfather, mother, father. Your guardian angel. Yeah, this person is a narcissist. Someone is too full of themselves. But I feel like someone has to tell you something. Someone has something to tell you about your person or your person wants to tell you something. Somebody has gambling problems. They have a problem with addiction. So they spend all their money on their addiction, their habit, or their gambling. Their finances is bad. Some of y'all divorced this person or y'all getting ready to divorce them or you could be experiencing a breakup at this time. Okay, Spirit is wanting you to have patience. In just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. So something is happening for you in a few more months. Just be patient. You could be traveling in a few months. This person is a liar. Be careful with someone sneaky. Yeah, your intuition was telling you about these red flags. And it's saying the red flags that you ignore now will come to bite you later. You could be going on a date with someone. Get ready to be wined and dined. Yeah, you're moving on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time. It's over. And yes, luck is on your side. I feel like somebody is confused about their sexuality. They're still trying to figure themselves out. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius here. Somebody's a gold digger. They want your money. I feel like you were being used. Could be another Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio here. Yeah, Mercury Retrograde. What about this Mercury Retrograde? Oop. What about this Mercury Retrograde? This person is going to um, reach out to you around Mercury Retrograde. They want to compromise. They want you to forgive them. They want to work it out. They want to commit. Yeah, they want to get married. They want things to get serious. Yeah, Spirit is saying open your heart. It will help you attract more love. Let go. Make room for the new. Beginning is on its way to you now. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here in your energy, or you have Earth highly aspect in your chart. Earth prominence, you may have air prominence in your chart. You could be a cusper here for some of you. Well, if your heart is closed off, blocked off, spirit is saying work on your heart chakra, open your heart up, move on. You're going on a date with somebody here. Don't be closed off to this new person. Allow the love to flow. All right, and then somebody else here. That you broke up with or divorced is a narcissist. They're a liar. They want to confess something to you. Or somebody could be telling you something about this person. They're a gold digger. They're coming back around Mercury retrograde. But I feel like they're still unsure of themselves. Spirit is telling you to move on. In a few more months, you could be going on a bay vacation. You could be traveling to see somebody or somebody's traveling to see you, take you out on a date. But 
but just know your guardian angels are always watching over you protecting you all right these things had to happen for a reason so don't be mad get glad and move on all right because this person you know it was a narcissist so i had narcissistic traits here and that's not good so yeah but cancer that is your reading those are your messages if you stay to the end if you like this reading if you want to see me do more readings for you guys if you know somebody that's going through this share this video with them if this is your story if it resonates with you or vice versa like this video up comment share subscribe turn your post notifications on to all if you would like to donate to my channel my cash app will be linked in the description box below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one personal private reading with me, I have a spring break special going on for $50. A $50 sale. So get it while the getting is good because after the spring break, the price is going back up. All right. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one private personal reading with me, again, I have the spring break sale going on for y'all only for a limited time. All right. Um, the only way you can reach me to get a reading is through my email. That is also linked in the description box down below the video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Until next time, bye Cancer. I'll see y'all in the next one.